Hi, yo. Welcome, y'all. Welcome in all those who have been born again in Jesus Christ. Whether you agree with all details or not. Yeah, I want to talk about something again. It's kind of a part two. Something that's, I don't know, kind of sad. Might get into some other subjects here uh, along with it, though, as well. There's some that's, I'll just get right to it. Uh, there's some that's saying that uh, watching for signs of the rapture. There's some brethren that are saying watching for signs of the rapture is idolatry. Now, I've went on many of their um, channels and, uh, you know, I was subscribed to a lot of them. But here's the main issue. It's not really, I'll put it flat out in the beginning and probably say it several times so no one misunderstand. My issue is not uh, that I'm making this that I have to speak up. It's not that you don't see watching the rapture signs like I and many of us do. <clears throat> but the issue is that uh, I got to speak about the error that you're making is how you're making sweeping generalizations I'm talking to those that are saying watching for rapture signs are idolatry. I've noticed they don't even, I don't know what got into them. I don't, anyway, I might get into that later. My guess on that. But too many of them are saying, not even some. They're saying like, oh, they don't even say some. And some good channels. And I get it. You know, sometimes we're ignorant of something, and if we're ignorant of something, we... Where well, I break it down right here. The people that are saying that, <clears throat> you know, w w as it goes with any of us, you know, all kind of a human nature thing, that uh, if you're ignorant of something and for those people, even brethren, let's just keep it all within real brethren that understand the grace of Jesus Christ. I've been once saved, always saved before it was cool. Like I say, I've been once saved, always saved for years. You can't tell me that I'm not in the gospel of Christ the right way, that I don't understand grace. I do. And it's, and my point here with this video, many of us that watch for rapture signs do. I could list off many of them. Like Bob at uh, uh, End Times Dream and Vision, Uptime Community Church, Church Greg, Chooch at TOL, End Times, etc., etc., so the people that are saying that, I, mean, I, I wish I could help you out, but I probably all I, all I could do is uh, I, I pray for them. I've been praying for them about every day that they get out of that. You know, it's, it, it's not that they're, uh, it's not because they don't see things the way we do. It's because the way they're talking about the brethren. Now, I know the that some of the ways they talk about the brethren is not right. And hopefully it's, you know, helps wake somebody up. And plus, I, I'll be honest with you, most people won't or something. I just want to make a video today as well to talk about it and, and for what I see. I think part of it with some people doing that is you know, good brethren, you know, as far as I know. not only part of us ignorant you know we can all be ignorant of something and be kind of defensive against you know what we're ignorant of but also I think you know I think from hearing them talk I think some people that are that have like channels that talk about the rapture a lot have have came against them so I'm also calling for people that have the same mind of, of me and on my channel to help understand these people you know don't get like mad at them or anything I'm trying to also help you understand I think what they might be going through so, so they've had people in those uh, quote rapture channels a lot of them probably came against them and leave them nasty messages and for some reason it's a human nature I've noticed to uh, you know if you don't watch it to sweep in generalizations they say oh you know Everyone that's talking about the rapture all the time doesn't know that Christ is the rapture and they're not resting in Christ. And you got to, you know, listen to us and we're talking about how to rest in Christ. But all those watching for rapture signs, they're not ra resting in Christ. And don't say 
and you can't have any about it. the channels I could list them if you want to can't say that you're not saying that because I'll just replay your videos that's exactly what you were saying you didn't even say some he said the people that are watching for all oh, they're just talking about the rapture they don't know that Christ is a rapture they're literally saying that so my point with that is because some people with rapture channels have uh, left them some kind of nasty messages or something I guess they got I guess you call it offended and they're you know it's like a tribal mentality that we you know as human beings we gotta watch out for it's like oh no you came against us no and so we're gonna come against what you talk about even parts that we don't understand we're gonna come against it so so my point with that is I think that's why they're doing it you know I just pray for them you know understand what you want to understand I, I, I'm not trying to convince those people of uh, anything about it anything about ra watching rapture signs but when you talk against the brethren and say whoever's doing that is in idolatry like many channels have said many good channels have been in error by saying then come on man I mean you got to you got to get out of that. I hope and pray. I pray almost every day that, that y'all get out of that stuff. I don't know what got you into it exactly. and But, you know, I just hope you get out of that. I mean, technically speaking, the words that that, that many of, of them have been saying, the way that they've been talking about the brethren, I don't bring a charge against them, and I don't take offense, but God help them. You know, it's, it's, it's not a good thing, and it's especially not good for those who, who are speaking it and so if you have your fellow you know you, you like watching rapture signs and stuff and, and and you're born again in jesus and you you've seen and heard it too pray with me for those people would you please pray with me that they get out of that um i'm not sure it's a deception but it's it's I'll just call it ignorance and offense. And I pray with me that God delivers them and helps them see the way that the issue is, the way that they're talking about good brethren. Now, are there some crazy watchmen that are just about, hey, this day the rapture is going to happen, we're a day set? Yeah, but you don't link them all together. Come on. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm. This should be obvious. I'm, uh, I, I, maybe I have a problem, you know, dealing with things that should be obvious on, with people and having patience with them. Sorry. Uh, so like on the last video, I'll go ahead and go to the... Why it is actually good to, <coughs> to watch. But uh, before I get to that, many of those channels... Some of you probably heard of them. God help the brethren in those channels. They bring up a lot. Oh, we are dispensing Christ. I, I, don't, I don't. In a way, it kind of leaves me speechless. I've noticed this even before the rapture watching subject came up. Uh, there's a group that if you know about them, you know about them. I don't even have to name them. If you've heard any of them, you, you already know who I'm talking about that they keep saying we're the ones dispensing Christ and the ones that are not talking the way we are oh you're not dispensing Christ oh your your, your channel's about rapture signs and, and talks about the rapture a lot oh you're not dispensing Christ you're not resting in Christ sorry honey I, I pray that you go to God with that that's not necessarily true now can a person be so uh, and wrapped and wrapped up in uh, watching rapture signs and not have the gospel ride and not be rested in Jesus daily. Yes, like I've mentioned on my last video, and there's some people where they can't, you know, really watch things because it was a roller coaster for them. And like I said on the last video, well, do whatever's best for you in your walk with God, you know. 
do whatever's best. But to say all those that are that are doing that, watching rapture signs, are talking about rapture signs, which many other of the channels have said, and people, you know, it's not just about them. They're saying they're not resting in Christ. They don't know grace. They don't talk. They don't talk the way we do. They're they're not dispensing Christ. And then many of those channels saying that. Where did you dispense Christ in your video? Don't be offended. Just I hope to wake you up to reality. I, I just listened to one and I, I went ahead to unsubscribe because, you know, you know, kind of keep my subscribers kind of few. You know, could have kept subscribed, but try to keep it kind of low. No offense to them. I, you know, I hope they, hope they see what they're, how they're talking about the brethren. And no, not just any brethren, good brethren, brethren that, that understands grace, understands, you know, quite simply the word of God you know just as good as you do and maybe to be frank when it comes in some cases better than, than those people do because you keep saying you know oh Christ is everything well Christ is the word and if you leave out the uh, which I'm about to get into here if you leave out the prophetic scriptures in let's even just keep it to the New Testament for this example if you don't well I'm not uh, I gotta be careful speaking I, I, I don't want to bring any charge against you but you're not seeing exactly what such rapture scriptures are saying what what do you do be honest with you if I, if I was to talk to them if we was to talk to them maybe ask them what do you do with uh First Thessalonians 4.18 Christ is the word so what do you do with that I think it's 18 but the, the end of the First Thessalonians 4 and comfort one, one another with these words now go to God also go to God and ask what First John 3 verses 2 and 3 is talking about I know what it talks about to me. I know what it means to me and a lot of other brethren. If you don't, if you don't want to watch for rapture signs, that's cool. That's not the issue. But I'm trying to help them see. You know, that's that's your choice. I believe it's a wrong choice. But if you can't do it without being disturbed, well, then it's probably a right choice for you. But to come against, like I've been hearing, all those who talk about the rapture a lot. Uh, see here's another thing going back to the sweeping generalizations and then you know oftentimes on many of the videos what do they end up talking about they end up talking about the the V let's call it the V the big hot button issue hot topic for the past over past year right you know what I'm talking about and they'll say the, 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 to be frank you know I don't mean to say this, but to, to, to be to, to be clear about it, they've been labeling in all the crazies with all the rapture watchers all together. And yes, I've heard the videos. I, I don't know why they go to that, but I think it's to help them defend their case. You know, I understand we do that as, as human beings. When we feel threatened, when something feels threatened, we, you know, we... One reason why I'm slow to comment to their channels now because I'm just afraid it'll make them double down even more you know so you got to be careful about even trying to give them the truth or helping them out if you think it's going to make them double down well then maybe just be quiet and pray pray for them you know but what I was saying about the sweeping generalizations and also you know for clarity I think someone needs to say I believe in communication, you know, someone needs to address an elephant in the room there. Although, you know, if, if they just keep going with God, they're as close to God as they say, well then ask God, he's, he's you know, I believe he'll help them, you know, see these things. So the sweep of generalizations, they, they end up going to the subject of the V, and then they'll scream out, the V is not the mark of the beast. Now who 
who do you know? Now, for me personally, I don't know anyone that's saying that the V is the mark of the beast. But <laughs> so often they tend to uh, they label us all all the, all the rapture watchers, rapture sign people as the, as the same people as 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 saying that oh if you take the V you're no longer saved. Really? If I could look at you, I, I would look at you and I just said, No, I know you know better than that. You're labeling all the rapture signs watching people. Some call themselves watchmen, some don't. It's just a word in and of itself. And you're saying, See, we're on the good side. We're in the truth. We, we don't think that the V is the mark of the beast. Yeah, no watchman that I know or listen to says the V is the mark of the beast. Or has ever said it. So, I mean... Hello? Is it a precursor? Yeah. Does a lot of us, including me, talk against it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it fun to have? Is it a, is it a good thing to have? Did, would, would I uh, teach against someone taking it? Yeah. Yes, I would. Absolutely. You know, I, I believe it's my care for people. Not that you don't care for people. I'm not implying anything. But it's my care for people. Yeah, I would try to teach them. Yeah, please don't take that. Research what's in that. And uh, many of me, many of us are saying the, the same thing. We're just saying, hey, it's not smart to take that. And you don't have to. But no, we're not some crazy saying that it's the mark of the beast. Come on. I mean, we all know this. I'm thinking maybe I should call out and... Because that's really what really my... Oftentimes my life assignment has been. I think it's the way God has made me. I just shine a light on things that nobody else will shine a light on or talk about. I'm thinking of kind of like the channel where it's all mostly really coming from. I'll see if I'm going to do that. Not to necessarily shame him unless unless it's needed. I don't know. I'll pray about it. I ain't against that, doing that though, whatever. Like I've been uh, thinking a lot about lately, open rebuke is better than secret love. But with that channel, uh, you know, to be honest, it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I hope better for them, but I know what I'm thinking, but um, would it be beneficial for me to say? It's actually kind of scary, a little bit scary the way that they're talking, but A lot of them think, oh, we're just a few people that have the doctrine right. We're just a few people that know how to dispense Christ and rest in Christ. Just a few of us. Everybody else that don't have our same language, that don't have our exact same language, oh, they're, they're, they're not in the truth. They're this and that and the other. Uh... I'm just going to tell you that very, very simply. I hope oh, at least one of you listen to this. You need to be careful of talking like that about your brethren. No, not a wolf. I'm talking about brethren. Yeah. And people have different definitions for brethren. I don't really know why. But, but anyway, my definition for brethren is those who are born again in Jesus. And specifically, I'm talking about those who know once they've always saved and understands the doctrines of grace in the in the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, it's not just you. It's not just you, a few people that use the same language. I know. Might be a shocker to you, but there's a lot more than what you think that they are. And yeah, we might get some things wrong sometimes. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, you know shine a light and percolate the coffee for you here you might need to sniff it a bit so do you for one thing the rapture sign watching y'all get a little wrong at least how you talk about the brethren about it but 
could get on the rapture side and watch it a little bit later or watch the last video I might as well go ahead and say it the the channel where they're all where they're getting it from and they I got some kind of whatever with connection or a hub or something with or something no it's just a group of people and stuff I guess you could say they're leader or something like that whatever David Benjamin he's got some things wrong before just say you know and not any more or less than any kind of errors that people in the a good watchman community like brother Bob or Robert Hagen for instance just you know minor minor of uh, error you know and a little doctrine over here or there but when somebody's in a little error I mean why do y'all say oh they're not dispensing Christ they're not resting in Christ come on man you, you, at some point you gotta use discernment now don't go back with the sweep of generalizations oh yeah you're all crazies that think V's the mark of the beast and you know they're whatever all other types of far off left field crazy stuff no 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 <laughs> don't go there it's not you against all the rest of the brethren sorry it's not and a lot of us are in the same truths that y'all are in but if like one of us not not a crazy that's that's coming on your channel and giving you nasty messages i'm talking about if one of us come on one of your channels and just barely disagree with something and say hey uh gently patiently say hey here's where i disagree here's this that you know where i think you're a little bit off on this that doesn't mean oh they're not dispensing christ they're not resting in christ you know i'm talking about issues that, that's not even talking about the, uh, the the doctrines of grace it's not even talking about that come on man it's not this is not some kind of tribe against tribe flesh thing here I, 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 I pray that I pray that those people see it's, it's really been kind of sad to hear it but you know we move on I'm gonna do what I do we do what we do and I'm resting, uh, you know, I got to rest in Christ daily, and I got to pray daily, and uh, and I mentioned to some of them, yeah, hey, hey, you actually come up with some good points sometimes, because sometimes I can uh, make a, an event, the rapture, or watching um, too much of a focus and not a rest not actually rest that day in Lord Jesus not actually keep in prayer and do the way I should like I say uh, sometimes I don't watch soberly but you know you don't throw baby out with bath water you don't you should be able to do both you know I'm not down and you're saying oh you don't watch rapture signs so you're this that and the other oh you must think that you must think that people should take the V <laughs> even though some of some of them in that in that community do there, there's one that her and her anyway her and somebody got the V and they was uh, celebrating on one of their videos I immediately unsubscribed from that one that's just I just chalked it up to ignorance I, I hope it's ignorance I just give them the benefit of doubt and say that's ignorance. And no, we're not saying if you take the V, just because we disagree with your stats on taking the V, that does not mean that we think the V is the mark of the beast or that someone has lost their... No, you don't just... It's not just one extreme or the other. Sometimes you got to rightly divide reality. I hope this helps wake you up. And again, this is not an attack. I, I I encourage you know people. Well, don't don't go on, don't go on their channels and leave some kind of you know message or something. Maybe try to help them out if you got any thing, any word that you think might you know you gotta try to help them out with. Try, you know, try and see how it goes. 
probably did you know just pray for them if you can you know discern you know who who the brethren are it's all about, and it's not hurting me personally but ultimately I kind of worry about them it's like well I know God don't doesn't like the way that they're talking about the brethren I kind of think well it's between them and God but I don't know exactly how that pans out but uh Probably in this lifetime, I know eventually. Like I don't know how many more, how much longer we have, but eventually they'd have to come around if they stay rested in Jesus as much as they say. Well, then you know, eventually you're gonna have to come around to. Oh wait, wait a minute. I wasn't saying this that good, huh? And what I'm talking about with that is how you're talking talking about the brethren in here. Labeling all that don't talk don't use the exact same, you know, that that group God help them have discernment if they don't use it if you don't use the exact same uh words that they use and, and, and never and, and just and never agree, disagree with them, they think you're some kind of outsider or something. Oh, you're not resting in Christ as good as we are, and all this. No, this you're wrong. Sorry. And this is not, you know, this might be a rant. It, it, I think it needs to be kind of put out there, and I want to put it out there and stuff. But you know, it's not to uh, uh, attack any people in any way. I do help to get out of that. Uh, I'm not going to use the C word, but that almost kind of some kind of eh, not even elitist thinking. Just I don't know. It's like some kind of uh, you go to a really small town way about in the boondocks and stuff, and they need to bring somebody that's like ethnically different or different somehow. At least back in the day, back years ago. They act like, oh, you're not one of us. This one's different. I guess you call it isolated. Hope they get out of that. And not in the wrong way. Don't automatically think, well, the only other alternative is us to just join with everyone in the world. No. No, rightly discern who is your brethren. By your own language, you say, by, by, by their profession. And who actually is in the gospel of grace? I, I, I'll give you one good example: the brother Stephen, who follow the way, worship Jesus. He, he's out there in England preaching the true gospel and doesn't add or take away from it at all. Out in England, like every day now. And what does he do? He, he me and him talk about rapture signs a lot. And he's in the gospel of grace as much as anyone that I've ever heard. I mean, he 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 knows it. It's as good as you do, as good as anybody in them, them, them channels, as good as David Benjamin. You know, it's not a comparison, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, go ahead and uh, go to his channels and hear what he teaches. <coughs> he's out there preaching on the streets, and he's not, you know, preaching that weird law stuff either. And sometimes we talk about the rapture stuff a lot. He, he's a really good example. I mean, are, are you going to not fellowship with with him? Would you not fellowship with Brother Stephen? I mean, if you wouldn't, I say this in love just to wake you up. There's something wrong with you. If you wouldn't fellowship, forget about me. I could make some examples, though, like Brother Stephen, for instance. If you wouldn't fellowship with Brother Stephen, there is something wrong with you. Ask God. Yeah, don't believe me. Ask God. I don't know what it is, but that's the truth. Now, not something inherent. Don't, you know, take it to some extreme again. Oh, he's saying something wrong with us. So he's saying we don't have faith. He's saying we don't have salvation. No, I have Christ. I didn't say that. I said there's something wrong in your thinking. I didn't say you wasn't saved. You know, it's not just 
not just your little group or everything else is devils or whatever. I don't know. However y'all talk. No, if, if you in fellowship with a brother like that, there is something wrong with you. Go to God. He'll, he'll tell you better than I do. I could have not made this video, you know, but, uh, you know, I used to talk with a lot of the people. And it's kind of a... Uh, I don't know. Disturbing is not quite the right word, but it's close. Now, sometimes there's some disagreements, like, uh, you know, if you don't like, you know, hearing people talk about the rapture stuff and you just don't want to hear it. Well, yeah, I understand that, you know. But I guess there'll be a part three, because I actually wanted to get into that. The why, the why, hopefully the next part will be why it is good to watch. I ain't saying you have to. It's kind of like not taking the V. I ain't saying if you take the V, you're, you know, <laughs> you're damned or something. I'm saying, why would it be good not to? Well, with watching, I would be saying, why would it, why is it good to? If, if you just found that you can't, well, then don't. The number one thing is that you're born again and you're resting in Jesus and you're focusing on your fellowship with him. If you got that, you're fine, huh? You know? But the reason why I made this video again, like I say it again, is when you start talking about the brethren that are watching rapture signs the way I've been hearing a lot of people talk about, especially the people in the David Benjamin group, the way they've been talking about that. Just be careful. Maybe David's telling you something that you need to go to God about, you know. Not to say he's, and I ain't going to say because I don't agree with everything, I'm not going to say, well, he's teaching like a wolf. If I did, I would go ahead. I would go ahead and say it, but no, I, I don't believe that. I just believe it's like I said before. Ignorance combined with which we all have ignorance in some things, right? So I'm not comparing, saying some are better than others. But when ignorance is, combines with kind of the tribal defensive mentality, it's us versus them, and they've come and attacked us before, and so we got to defend ourselves. When those two combine, you know, we can make errors sometimes, can't we? So what I was saying is, if there's some brethren that you feel like you just don't, you know, need to talk with right now, yeah, I understand that, because there's some that I, I know are brethren that, like, I just unsubscribe from a channel, you know? It's like, I can't, because I can't hear all that. I want to be gentle when I talk about it. It is a kind of bashing, though, you know, I'll just say that the, the, the way they've been talking about everyone that has talked about the rapture so much is this and that. Yeah, I, I had to unsubscribe from all that talk, you know. I've tried to tell some of them a few times, but like I said earlier, you got to be careful. If you think you helping them out, it's only going to make them double down within well, them people. you got to even good brethren, you know, the people I'm talking about, I believe they're good brethren. Uh, you kind of, maybe kind of leave them alone and pray for them. If you think you're, the only thing you're going to say is just going to have them double down and uh, just defend themselves even more. Then, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you was under attack that some people have, uh, I remember months ago I was going to get David Benjamin a message. I, I, I partly feel like it's my fault. I wasn't going to get on this, but sure it was about a year ago now no uh, some months ago uh, I was going to give him an email it's like hey watch out for a fence and I, before it happened and uh, I just kind of give him a heads up what I kind of felt was going to happen and it seems like it did happen with him and he got into some fence but I I, I, I trust you know God to bring him through it and uh, but anyway it's kind of an inside thing I can't really get into and I didn't I didn't think he would read my email anyway so but anyway maybe that was just an excuse but, but I think some offense has got it in there which is kind of easy and oh man I've been wanting to do a video about this a lot if uh, if you can't and not to downplay him on this but he's talking about you got to recognize your brethren well, I don't know if you realize it or not, but that's exactly what y'all are not doing, is recognizing the brethren. 
I know, I just, I don't like beating around the bush too much. I just go straight for it. One of the main errors that uh, so many in, 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 in that group, this group, if you're listening, your group has been doing it is not reali- recognizing the brethren. And I think partly why that's happened is because uh, because of attacks and offense. Sometimes offense can be subtle. Hopefully I'm not offended right now, you know. we got to always go back and, you know, pray about that and make sure. And again, I've heard people kind of defend the way they talk. or saying, well, they're talking about these extremists over here. Well, yeah, okay, that's cool, but... When you actually hear some of the, the, those people's videos, they don't make that distinction. They just label like, well, everyone over here, they're all in the group of, you know, not us talking the same way, when it's just simply not the case. And on an even stronger note, I mean, this is just my thoughts, my opinion, something I've thought about. You, you may... Re- this is probably not what the scripture means when it when it talks about those who cause division among the brethren. But just my thoughts, something I've thought about before, you might want to be sure that you're not doing that yourself. That you're not causing division among the brethren yourself. Uh, something for you to pray about. And again, I'm not saying fellowship with wolves. I'm not talking about ecumenism and everybody you know we're all good together no I'm not talking about that I'm talking about the brethren that are really believing the same thing that you are but you're not recognizing them that's what I'm talking about okay and I'm not and I'm not going to say you're slandering us or you're accusing us even though maybe some of that has happened I don't know you know I don't bring a charge against the brethren and there's people I'm I'm the people I'm trying to help I believe are brethren and you know are just like I said for an ignorance and offense and have gotten offense and thus their own defensive mode because whatever happened to them and whatever else is involved with it. One thing that goes along with that is some sometimes lack of discernment. Which I can't get into right here right now. And if we have a lack, especially in discernment, go to God and ask Him for it. You know, don't just. What I wanted to talk about is uh, we we need to know God for ourselves and uh, and know His Word for ourselves, and don't you know just rely upon a man or your group. That's what I actually wanted to do today. Talk about that. Get to know God and His Word for yourself first. That's it goes beyond this subject, not just the group I'm talking about mostly that that you know takes care of a lot of those problems though that takes care of such problems with that a lot though huh but okay this is coming to an end and so all the brethren in Jesus Christ have a good day and I end you with this word from Lord Jesus Christ take it to God and what I say unto you I say unto everyone or all of you watch watch